Hey guys, welcome back to the Conservative Patriot. My name is Keith. Hey, Hollywood has lost it yet again. <clears throat> if you guys haven't seen the news, uh, yesterday, Deborah Messing and Eric McCormick put out tweets, I guess either over the weekend or last week, regarding President Trump's upcoming um, fundraiser in L.A. on, I think it's on Friday, Thursday or Friday this week. So... Deborah Messing put out a tweet that basically said um, she wanted to see all the donors for um, Trump's fundraiser. And then Eric McCormick comes out and basically echoes the same sentiment and says he wants to see all the donors for Trump's fundraiser. It's public knowledge who these people are. So you shouldn't be asking for a list of Hollywood um, actors, executives, whoever the heck they are, that are going to this Trump fundraiser. It's just what Julian Castro did, what, three, two, two and a half, three weeks ago, when he wanted, or he actually printed out or tweeted out a list of all the Trump supporters in Texas. Um, look where that got him. I, I haven't heard much from that guy since. I mean, it's not a good look to go out and, and start requesting lists of people that you disagree with. And what I find... What I find, not not really funny, what I find kind of redeeming is that Whoopi Goldberg, who somebody is extremely on the left side, but understands that you don't have to agree with everybody. You can disagree and 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 take a adult approach and talk things out, but you don't ask for lists of donors. That's <coughs> That's not who we are. We are a free people. We we vote for who we want to. And that is exactly what Whoopi Goldberg said yesterday on The View. And Joy Behar agreed, but wasn't as verbose as Whoopi Goldberg was. Which is pretty surprising for um, a, a Hollywood Democrat to just come out and say, Look, what you're doing is wrong. You don't go out and ask for lists of donors. Look what happened in the 1950s when everybody was on the hunt for communists and socialists in Hollywood. They wanted lists. They, if you were a member of the Communist Party, you were blacklisted. You were you were gone, man, out of out of out of business, out of work. And that hurt a lot of people that weren't communists. You know, there was a lot of people who were put on these blacklists in the 50s that were not part of the Socialist Party or the Communist Party. Um, they just kind of got got lumped in together. Um, and they were put out, put out of work, put out of business. So lists hurt. And it's usually in the wrong direction. You're, you're, not, you're not putting the right people on these lists. Look what the Nazis did in Germany with the uh, creation of the, the SD. Um, the intelligence gathering arm of the of the SS. They went out and they made lists. They they gathered intelligence on all kinds of people. They overheard conversations. They put your name on a list, and then you were taken out back and shot, or put in a concentration camp, or a work camp, or whatever they did. But that is that is a horrible thing to be put on a list for your political views, and that is how. Socialists are operating. Communists operate that way. If you don't agree, you're on a list, and that is basically the end of your life. You are done. You are done. Work-wise, um, job-wise, you're never going to work again in Hollywood if you're put on this black list. Come on. Think about all these, all the Hollywood conservatives. We don't know many of them because not many of them want to speak out. Who do we know? Uh, Kelsey Grammer. Uh, James Woods, John Voight, Dean Cain, um, Clint Eastwood. You know, there's a handful right there, but I know there, there's a lot more, but they're, they're afraid to speak up. We should not be afraid to say who we are going to vote for in this country for free, fear of um, being put on a list, for fear of losing your job because maybe you don't agree with your boss or your boss doesn't agree with you. Um, it, it's a horrible state of affairs. And Deborah Messing, a Jewish woman, 
should look back in her history and understand what happens when you get put on a list. Um, that 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 it should shock me, but it really doesn't. But it just proves how ignorant these people are about not knowing their history and what happens if you do a certain thing, and not to repeat that event. Um, but going down this road of placing people on lists or printing donor lists so you can out them um, on social media is completely wrong, completely unjustified. If you want to find out who who Trump donors are or any political um, candidates donors are, it's public knowledge. Go on their website. Go online. You can find it. It's not hidden anywhere. It's not... It's not um, in in some locked vault somewhere. Um, it's always been public knowledge. Uh, so just go out and find it. Don't you don't need to produce lists. And, and I'm sick. I'm I'm so sick of these Hollywood elites who think that they're better than anyone else in this country because they have a platform where there's a camera in their face 24 hours a day, and they think that they know better because they can just talk to the camera and look. My views out there now, so. I'm so smart. No, you're not smart. You're coming across as a jackass. And McCormick actually, actually, he came out with a tweet yesterday and tried to apologize for it. And then at the end of his tweet, he basically said, but I need to know where all these donors are. Okay, who cares? Go find them. But you don't need, your, your initial tweet where you said you need to find uh, who these donors are so you don't, so you know who not to work with anymore. That's your true sentiment, not your apology. Whatever you said first is exactly what you meant. Even if it was in the heat of the moment um, and you were frustrated or trying to parrot your co-star, those were your true feelings. They are out there, and now everybody knows exactly who you are. Maybe you should go on a list. Go on a list of people that we don't want to watch anymore. Anyways. Don't create lists. Lists are not good for anything except for getting groceries. So be that as it may. Um, go out and have a good day. It's going to rain here in Connecticut, which is good because I tried. I planted the grass for the fall, so hopefully it comes up. I never get it right. I always screw up growing grass. It just It's either hit or miss. I, I put it down. I do all the right things, and <clears throat> either works or doesn't work. And over the past couple of years, I have, uh, I've had zero luck, but uh, it's getting there trying anyways go out have a great day do me a favor check out that teespring link below hit um leave me a comment give me a big thumbs up hit the subscribe button if you're not a subscriber already and always remember to stay on the right side have a great day